October market update. And that's what we're talking about today. Yeah! Let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Rob Howe, the rock star realtor. And welcome to <laughs> our monthly market update for November 2020. And in this issue, we will be discussing October 2020 numbers. That's right. And man, a lot to be said about October. Yeah, October. <laughs> did, did, that's, that's when fall starts, right? Yes. No, well, technically fall starts October or September 21st or something okay, like that. Okay, so we're in the thick of fall, but we're, are we falling? Yes. Are we? What's falling? Let's falling. talk about. Slightly falling, depending on how you look at it. I don't think anything's falling <laughs> at all. The sky is falling in 2020 because of the C word and because of the crazy elections. Yeah. So, as usual, we are going to talk about the numbers and then dissect those numbers. Dissect it. So, there were 3,225 single-family homes that sold in the month of October, which is actually down 1.4% from September and up 11.2% from October 2019. So, what is that telling us, Rob? Well, it tells us we're still strong like bull. We're still strong like bull. That 2019 was really not a good year. And with Whoa. all things considered, though, mm -hmm. with this crazy P word, C word, election word, we're out beating last year's numbers. Yes, there is. I would, I would, I would technically disagree that we, did, we had a bad 2019 because overall it was up. But... It what? wasn't up against 2018, though. Uh, right. So it t technically, but what we, what I really, what I'm really focusing in on is that traditionally you have those months that start slowing down. So I think we're in the traditional slowdown months. Right. Um, well, Prey said, if you watch our Robin Ann show, he said this was not going to happen this year. Right. And it has not happened, and we don't think it's going to. No, I don't even think it's going to slow down till. January? No. Probably not, huh? No, not till it's, next summer. You think it's that long? Yeah. You mean, you mean 2021 summer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe so, yeah. Um, I, uh, I, it's going to be interesting. I think if it does start to slow down, it could slow down in a hurry. Yeah. Think? I have a lot of clients that are right now um, looking for quarter one which is, what, January, February, March. Yeah. So then we get into the busy spring selling season. So that's why I think it'll start taking a dive probably um, July. And then also you got to take into consideration all those homes that were in forbearance. Yeah, and I, I think taking a dive is probably relative. It's not, I don't think... Well, no. yeah, and we've discussed this before in previous yeah. shows. When we say take a dive, because these numbers are so high this year, it's going to exactly. be kind of like replicate 2019 numbers. Right. 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 So we might we might scoot back a little bit, but but boy, we I But we're is, not gonna slow down. Yeah. I think the slowdown is gonna start happening in July. Yeah, so I've been pretty happy to see a run up just in case we have a run down. Uh, and that run down would be not something of a tumbling down the hill. It just right. would be a little bit And a run down back. actually is a good thing because the median price has gone so inflated in my opinion yes yeah, speaking of yes and and we know why that's happening so what is the median <laughs> home price what's happening so there? last month the median price went from 237,250 in september to 340,000 for october so that's five consecutive months that the median price has kept on increasing. Yep, right around 5K each time. This was a little less of a jump, but still, because we're, we're, we're really getting to that maximum level where yes. it, you know, it gets harder for people to buy quite a bit. Um, and obviously, the interest rates being so low is allowing people to come in and buy and still buy for less than what you could rent. Right. So this is what's urging that market. Plus, the fact that they cannot find a ton of listings out there. There are not a lot of properties. So... 
you really have to be a little bit more aggressive if you're a buyer. And the good news is it's allowing the market and the way the interest rates are and the per, your payment and the, what you'd have to do are allowing for that. So. Exactly. So that puts us up 0.9% from the prior month, but up 10 Point eight percent from year over year. Yeah. So this time last year, I mean, this is unheard of numbers. Yeah, and <laughs> it's just, I mean, it's unheard of in the big P word, the big yeah. C, word C word time. We would have never been able to predict this. No. It's completely opposite of what you would think would be going on. Uh, do we think that there's probably some price to pay along for everything? Yeah, but this is why we're happy to see some movement up because any price to pay so to speak again might be right you know just giving back what we've gained which is wonderful and you know there are a ton of buyers out there there's a ton of buyers looking and a lot of them can't find a home due to the lack of inventory um, a lot of people who are fleeing their states you know we know Californians are fleeing we know the West Coast, pretty much the whole entire West Coast is fleeing <laughs> right. because it's gotten too politically, you know what. And then we know that the East Coast, the New Yorkers and New Jersey people are fleeing as well because of the high taxes, the property yeah. taxes, the state income tax. Yeah, I think, again, we people are insulating themselves. They're saying, well, I, I'm at this level of income or I have this much money or this much, uh, you know, resources. And a state like ours, a, a city like ours, allows people to live very, very comfortably right. compared to where they're at. So that is a big calculation. As and it's a catch-22 in a way. Oh, gosh, we're having so many people influx into Nevada or Las Vegas. However, they're helping support our economy. Yeah. And we need that influx right now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, big, it's a big deal. And, uh, you know, well, that's, that's gonna, that's been the big difference. You know, I remember, obviously it wasn't that long ago. It was a few months ago. People are going, are we going to crash like 2008? And it, there were a number of, uh, things, a number of things in the marketplace that were so much different than that time right. that I knew we would not see that kind of it. Now I couldn't have predicted what's happening, but I knew we wouldn't see that kind of a problem happening. And plus the lenders now are very, I mean, right. very strict. They're not like they were back in 2008 yeah. or 2007, six, yada, yada. They are, I mean, my lenders. Yeah, very good lenders. Very good lenders. They and won't approve unless they're 100%, that's what like good you lenders say, do. strong as bull buyers. Yeah. yeah, that's what good lenders do. They, they try to hunt down any trouble before they have it. They want to make sure that the buyer is sort of frisked down before they, you know, right. they before they can come into the building, you can't have any weapons. And this is the uh, this is I mean I'm using a, a <laughs> metaphor, but uh, basically you, before you can get to that level of being approved, you really have to be somebody that can be approved. So they're going to make sure that right. uh, you're looking solid. Exactly, and plus with the influx of cash buyers, I mean just all overall a good thing. So as we've been saying for many 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 months, as a seller. It's still an awesome time to sell. Right now, even we're getting into the slow months, it's still not going to be slow. I mean, if you can yeah. list your house right now, I have hundreds of buyers literally looking to buy right yep. now. I, I mean, the, the buyers that I'm look, working with right now are having a hard time finding homes that they, right. they, really, that they really like. And depending on the style and what they're looking for, the price range, it's, it's really tough out there, you know. Uh, and you see a lot of junk that's out there, a lot of the junkier properties right. that, uh, to be honest, some sellers are trying to get a little too much for um, <laughs> because they think, oh, well, there's not enough out there. You'll just have to take my property that's kind of garbagey. Um, well, that's, those things have a way of settling themselves out, too. They take a little longer, but eventually yep. sellers, if they really want to sell, come to... And we'll get into that more in detail when we go over months of supply. Next, we're going to go over my favorite luxury market. And it's all because one YouTuber always said, what's going on with the luxury market? But I never see him comment anymore. So comment if you're watching this. <laughs> So last month in the luxury market, which is a million and over, we had 92 homes sell, which we sold how many the month before? It was 87. 87? Yep, which yeah. is a five home increase, but that's still pretty good. Yeah. But the median price in the luxury market dropped in October. It went um, from 1.45 mil 
to 1.382 mil. So that's about a 67,000 roughly decrease in medium price in the luxury market. So that's telling us what? Well, I think it's telling us that the, the sellers are being somewhat reasonable and they, they want to get the homes sold. Right. They have their reasoning for, I mean, maybe some of them are sizing down, but whatever they're selling for, they understand that they want to get it done. And so they're, they're willing to peel off a little bit on off the, price. the asking price, exactly. Yeah. And I think also they don't want to have to wait. The luxury market is a market that uh, will wait longer. The sellers will wait longer. They understand. They put it on the market. You know, like in it, in we know that if you're around three hundred to four hundred thousand or even less, you, we say we want to get that thing in escrow in two weeks or less. Exactly. You know, if not much less, but. In the luxury market, you're so looking it at it could be months. I mean, Six depending months a year sometimes. Yeah, it could especially the higher you get over a million, you could be looking at longer. The fact is though that well priced sells fast always. Exactly. And I and think, location. Of course, the well priced for whatever for the location for what it is, but I think that these sellers understand that they are motivated. They want to go ahead and take care of this, and maybe they are feeling like you know maybe my property is not going to be worth as much in uh if i wait too long maybe exactly. that's what they're thinking either way uh, they're not willing to get offers that are reasonable and and brush them aside right they're they're gonna work they're gonna try to work with them exactly it'd be foolish not to look at all offers and we never know yeah 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 i had this listing that as we know we've talked about in the Ant and rob show my clients want to move out of las vegas but they knew now was the time to sell but they're not want to move you know, back east until next year. So they sold now. They're doing a, actually, they lucked out and they're renting back their house for six months. Six month rent back. Wow. Yeah. 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 And it's possible in a seller's market. Yeah. And that's the only time you're going to be able to do that unless you're really undervaluing your But the house. most important thing is, is they got the message. Yeah. And that, again, that is our, has been our message all along. Known factor, your house will sell for the maximum price right now. So for the month of October, there was a total of 3,592 new listings that hit the market. However, this is still down 6.7% from September, mm -hmm. but surprisingly up 1.4% from the year prior from, year. From 2019. Right. Again, typically a slowdown time. Yes. Not happening right now. Uh, so again, as we preach to the prior, we need listings. Listings, listings, listings. We get listings. That will help increase the sales and will help hopefully tame down the medium price from getting outrageous. Yeah, well, I mean, ultimately, if it makes sense to you to sell your home, you should be selling your home. Right. That's, that's the bottom line. Uh, it, and it's, it's preaching to the choir, by the way. <laughs> what did preaching I say? to the prior. <laughs> prior. <laughs> 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 okay. Funny moment. Yep. We have those. There were a total number of 4,501 single family homes listed without offers in the month of October, which is down 6.2% from September and also down 37.6% from October 2019. Way down. Way down. Way down. Yeah. Like I always say, last year this time it was around the 7,000 range. We had a lot of inventory on the market for 2019. Yeah, especially compared to now. Yeah. It was traditional for yes. 2019. Yes. 2019, we finally, I mean, t the last couple of years, it's like, oh, we're getting back to traditional for the last well, few years. Well, 2018 was a banner year for me. Um, mm -hmm. It was very still a very good year with uh, multiple offers, bidding wars, but then because we didn't have as many listings as well. But then 2019, the sellers got the message and we had plethora of listings and so it was just a traditional year exactly nice and even really if you look at it, it was very even on right. the buyer and seller side so uh yeah uh we thought that might continue psych psych <laughs> that is one thing about the real estate being in real estate that is oh it's always interesting you yep. think it's going to get boring well guess what at least that's my, been my experience right yeah you never know and i mean with everything that's gone crazy and it's not just Las Vegas that's having record numbers. It's across the nation having record numbers with the lower inventory. Oh, yeah. I, the again, what's feeding the fuel is the lower interest rates. Yes, lower interest rates. Uh, Making the homes more affordable so people can buy that higher end. And then, as you mentioned in the past, 
it's better than renting. It's sometimes ah. even cheaper than renting because rents are skyrocketing. Here. Well, that is the that's the that is it. That's those are, that's the pressure that's that's really helping those interest rates look super great because if you're paying a ton of money for rent and the rental market is just nuts. I mean, it yes. is crazy. Very limited uh, inventory there as well. Yeah, I mean, really limited to the point where you know, I I usually will help people, my friends check out some rentals. I'm not leaving the house to check them out right now because by the time we do, it's, it's gone. It's already been applied for and it's gone. You got multiple applications. I guess that's okay because the rental market in Vegas, just so you know, the rental market for realtors to make a, a living is not easy. It's not. It's you, like taking a buyer out, showing 20 houses for pennies on the dollar. Yeah, it's just not a, not a viable source of income. So we want we sometimes we'll help some friends and some friends of friends and family. But uh, right now, the, the tough news is that uh, here's, hey, here, go, apply. <laughs> yeah. If you like the house, apply without even seeing it because it's just going to be hard. Yeah. So that is what's happening. The rental market, you know, it's hard to find anything good for less than $1,500. $1,500 You can't a month. find anything hardly unless you know, it's very small and not in and it's okay, junky. it's town. Right. Bucks a town. 1500 bucks for a junky property. Are you kidding me? It's time to buy. There's your sign. Yeah. And guess what? That interest rate, what is really wonderful about it is that you're talking about the life of the loan. Right. And it's just a very comfortable scenario. So I, I always kind of say this. I'd rather pay a little bit more in my price. In other words, seeing this median income, medium uh, home price raise is less important to me in my mind than the, in, than, than the interest rate being lower. Because that's really what's going to cost you in the long run. The, the cost of the home is a fixed price. Right. You know, it stays at whatever you bought it at. Now, the, the interest rate also, of course, is fixed. But it, the lower it is, is, is that really is what saves you money over time. Right. And, you know, again, in order to qualify for a super low interest rate, there's several factors involved. The number one thing is having outstanding credit. Sure. Great credit. Uh, great work. Uh, you're, you know, you're whatever, wherever your money's coming from, however right. you make your money. Uh, and if you need referrals to any good lenders and you're thinking about buying, we know a few. Oh, yeah. Our lenders are awesome. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can call my lender at 10 o'clock at night. doesn't mean you can call them, but I can call them. <laughs> and they'll be accessible. <laughs> it's all about being available. You can call them. You can call them, too. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, that's the, our lenders work like we do. Yeah. We're available as much as possible. I mean, t to be honest, to, in, there is a reasonable territory where you might not get a hold of me after like 9 o'clock. But uh, if it's important and I know we're in a deal and I know something's going on, you probably can get a hold of me. If, if, you can, if I'm not sleeping, I'll be there. Yep. So with that being said, that brings us to the months of supply. And we went from 1.6 months of supply in September to 1.4 months of supply for October. It's down 4.9%. And then down 43.9% from the prior year, which is huge. And I've said this in previous videos. I remember last year, this time, or this whole second or third and fourth quarter, it was hovering around the 2.1, 2.3 months of supply. So we are very anemic, as we say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? that's, that's the, the, there's then more proof in there. I mean, we just can't have enough proof in our pudding right now. Right. But just because it is a seller's market, does not mean you as a buyer cannot get a good deal. And there's other factors that we as, as agents look at when we put in that offer. Yes. Uh, there are times where you know that you can get closing costs paid, where you can right. get a, a, a decrease in the price. I mean, and this is actually, you know, we, we could go over classic seller mistakes. <laughs> Even in a golden seller's market, you can make classic seller's mistakes that cost you money that don't get you the uh, maximum amount of the property right. because you didn't let people fight over it and prove it to you exactly what your home is worth. You said, well, I want to get this number. That's what I think it's worth. You know, uh, sometimes, yeah. and, and there have been times, just to be completely honest, there have been times where my seller says, I think my house is worth this much. And I have to say, well, it is your home. So w let's, let's give it a shot. And they've been right. But it's not often right it's not often so right. what we see often when when more likely is you overprice the property it hangs around for too long and then finally somebody comes along and and, and gives you a, sort of the 
you know, the beat up yeah. offer on the chin <laughs> and it's well below what you wanted and yep. it's got closing costs and everything like that. But you're kind of like you're feeling like this is the only thing I've had. So, yeah, yeah. I'm always conservative with li my listings. Um, I just don't feel like you're conservative <gasps> with no. your listings. With I'm my sorry. listings. Yes. Well, what I mean by that is that I always been a firm believer of always pricing at or below market value to create a, I don't like creating bid wars, so I shouldn't say creating bidding wars, but to possibly get a higher value sell for your Well, home. let the market speak, right? Exactly. You know? Exactly. Um, I, people do know a good deal, and especially if they're the agents that are out there know their stuff, they know when a property is well-priced and that they need to move quickly on that property right. and be aggressive. And there's traditional buyers that think, oh, well, don't sellers overprice it so they expect to get a lower price? Well, not, now is not the case for that. Again, there are some agents that overprice because then they think that they're going to get it at the lower price. But there's also a lot of cons by doing that. Well, what, and this is, this is peeling back to, the, I think this is pulling back the curtain right here. Right. A lot of times what agents will do to get the listing they sure. will give the seller a high price, a higher price. They'll say, I can get you this higher price. And of course, the seller sees dollar signs. Right. And says, I'll go with Joe Schmo. And, you know, Joe Schmo may or may not be right about what they think they can get you on that property. Exactly. And just because if you work, look for a listing agent that's a 1% listing agent, does not mean that that listing agent is actually going to save you money. Whoa, the yeah, there's, a, there's, some, there's, a, there's some hidden things. Pulling back the curtain, the 1% yeah. doesn't really mean 1%. And or it, it, it's going to be because you're buying another property. And usually that's what it is. It's, it's I'll give you 1% if you buy a 3% property. In other words, if, I, if you go out and buy that property, I'm getting, and it's higher than value than your property now. As long as you're buying higher value and I'm getting 3%. Now, the agreement in there is that if I don't get my 3%, you're going to kick me down whatever I don't get. So your 1% could become 2%. Right. And, well, people have a misconception about this 1%. Technically, it's 1% to the listing agent, but you still have to offer percentage to the right. buying side, the buying agent. Yeah. So that's typically between a 3%, 2.5 to 3%. So ultimately, your 1% really ends up being 4%. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, of course. And it's just a, a lot of... But there's a lot of misconceptions. I had someone call me and said, well, I don't want to pay the buyer's agent. They say 1%. Uh, no. Yeah, you're going to have to pay the buyer's agent. Otherwise, you're just not going to get any showings on your property. No one's going to want to sell your house because if they're not going to make money off of it... Yeah, I mean, that's just the way it is. Now, it's one thing to have something that's, that's uh, a half a percent difference or, you know, something... But if you really go low on that, it's been a long time. It's been since really the short sale days that I can remember seeing one of those one and a half or one percent uh, on the buyer side. Yeah. Um, and it, it's just, it's, I mean, you're just killing yourself. You're, you're right. just because killing yourself. Because a lot listing. of agents see that. I'm not like that. I'll just show a house to show a house. Yeah, but true. a lot of agents will wean out the ones that have the, the lower percentage. Absolutely. Or they'll go in there and tell you exactly why they think you shouldn't buy that property. Right. Suddenly they'll they're, sabotage it. You know, suddenly they're giving you the <laughs> negative view. So 70.3% of the closings in October was on the market for 30 days or less. The month before, it was 69%, and October 2019, that was 52.6%. That's telling us that homes are selling within the first 30 days faster. Bam! Bam. Put your house on the market. <laughs> Get it sold. Fast! You know, with all everything that's going on, you know, unemployment for September was at 14.8% in Nevada, which is considerably high amongst all the big cities. It's mm. higher than most cities. So obviously because our casino industry is not... It's decimated. Our it's entertainment decimated. and casino industry right. has been decimated. We are hoping things are coming back. We do know that there's going to be some pushing and pulling on the big old C word out there. But I'm going to tell you, it seems like people are getting comfortable and unafraid of what's happening more and more every day. I think it's just being understood more, and fingers crossed, we see that people are able to come through this healthy, right? and that we can, I mean, life is going to go on. It must go on. Exactly. And I met this lady that's in charge of all the entertainment for downtown, 
and she said there are no shows booked for New Year's Eve and they will not be doing fireworks. So we're going to still have a sleuth of people coming for New Year's Eve that are going to be jam-packed downtown and the Strip with no entertainment. And the casinos will be on lockdown, only inviting people that are actually in uh, guests in the casino. Well, there you go. That'll be a... Uh, Food it, for thought. We'll talk more as the time comes with that. Yeah, it's it's going to be, uh, you know, constant, uh, you know, maneuvering right now. We have to uh, be agile yep. mentally and physically to see what happens in the world. Exactly. But if you would like to download the full report provided by the Las Vegas Realtors, I've posted a link down in the description below. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the real estate market or how you feel it's going to turn out for 2020, let us know in the comments. Maybe we get to do a video of what's going to happen for the real estate market for 2021. We'll probably put it on our channel, the Robin right. Ranch Real Estate Show. We have a we have a psychic that comes on yeah. uh, and he'll come on and I'm sure he'll have something to say. Right. He's been really, I mean, really spot on. But it'd be good to see and let you guys know, based off of our experience, what our opinions are on how the real estate market is going to land for 2021. Yeah. Help us out. Help us out. As always, if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. Share with a friend and subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. That's right. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.